Moving games from one hard drive to another on Steam is super simple. How you do it is open up Steam, and then once you're in Steam, you'll see in the top left, there's, well, the word Steam. If you click on this, it gives you a few different options. The one that we want is settings, and this will open up all of your Steam settings here. Now, most likely you'll be on the account tab when you open this up, but go ahead and click on downloads on the left-hand side. Once you've done that, we have Steam library folders here. When you click this, it's going to open up your storage manager for Steam, and this is where you're going to be able to see all of the games that you currently have installed on your hard drive. Now, if you want to move these to another hard drive, all you need to do is click the plus up here, and then you need to select the hard drive. Now I have three potential hard drives I could use. One's already there, right? That's the C drive. If we click the plus, we can select two more, the D drive or the Z drive. We're going to be using the D drive here because that's my SSD. So if we go ahead and click add here, we have this brand new SSD D drive here. Now, if yours is an SSD, it might not say SSD here. Mine says that because I literally named the drive an SSD, so I knew which one it was. But nevertheless, with that now selected, all we need to do to move games is come back over here to our local drive and select the game we want to move. Let's go ahead and move City Skyline. So click on this, click move in the bottom right now, and then make sure that we have the drive we want selected. We've only got one option here, but go ahead and click move. And that's going to go through and move City Skylines from one drive to another. This actually is surprisingly fast, but the bigger the game, the longer it's going to take to move. For example, Arc is 130 gigs. That's going to take a lot longer than the 16 gigabytes that City Skylines is. Once it is finished moving though, it will say this, all content moves successfully, and you can click close. Now, if we come back here, we'll see City Skylines isn't on this list anymore because it's not on our local local C drive. It's not on the SSD D drive here and as you can see, there it is. Now, one thing worth mentioning is now that you've got this new drive set up, you can install games directly to this drive instead of your C drive. To do that, you want to go into, obviously, a library where you would normally install your games. And then you can install anything. I'm going to do 8-Bit Boy because it's super small to install. So if we click install, we can actually select down here our install location. Now, by default, it will be that C drive that we had selected. But if we want to move it to the D drive, we can do that by clicking it right like so from the start. Click next. It's now going to install this game. Like I said, super simple, 47 megabytes to install it. And then we can go back into our storage manager by going into Steam in the top right. Right, clicking on settings and then going to downloads, Steam library folders, and now in here we can see 8 Boy isn't here because we installed it to the D drive, right there it is. If we did to save for whatever reason, we want to move this back over to our local C drive, click it, click move, select the C drive here, click move, and boom, all content successfully moved. There it is. So that's how you can easily move games between hard drives, add additional hard drives to Steam, and store your games on any hard drive you want. It's actually really cool. You can even use network drives for this, which I have here. Just note that uh, you may get some lag in game if you're using a network drive, especially if you have a spotty network connection. But nevertheless, this video is sponsored by NordVPN. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash NordVPN to get NordVPN for 64% off plus three free months when you sign up through that link. Thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. However, if you want to check out more videos, check out the one on your screen right now. YouTube thinks you'll like it, and let's see if they're right.